going around, I knew I had to be a part of it. Eyeshadow palettes are my most loved and my most favorite part of my makeup as a whole. So I definitely wanted to jump on board. Today's video is the eyeshadow palette tag. <laughs> Inspired by the collab that Ali Glines and Samantha March have done, as well as countless people on Instagram have been doing this as well. I really had a lot of fun just kind of going through my eyeshadow palettes and picking out each palette that I felt fit with each category for this challenge. And I'm really excited to share what palettes that I picked. And if you want to see my spin on the eyeshadow palette tag, then just make sure to keep on watching. But first, make sure you guys subscribe by clicking that subscribe button. Also, while you're at it, be sure to turn on those notifications so that YouTube will notify you every time I upload. All you have to do is click the little bell and bam, you're good to go. <laughs> eyeshadow palettes which I feel is so many of our favorite part of makeup application. I know eyeshadow palettes is definitely my favorite part of my collection as a whole which is why I have about 150 of them in my collection. I need to really go through and sit down and do a declutter really soon. I will share with you guys my most expensive palette and I will also try to make it a point to share at least my top five favorite shades in each palette as well. Well, there's my little puppy again, pay her no attention. But my most expensive palette that I have in my collection is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette. Coming in at $75. It's not the most expensive palette out there on the market, but it's the most expensive that in my collection. And it is such a beautiful palette, you guys. The undertones in this palette are out of this world. Like they are so incredibly beautiful. I can't even explain or really put into words just how beautiful the undertones in this palette are. I did receive this for my birthday from my loving husband. <laughs> Since my birthday and my anniversary, I have decided to no longer accept gifts on my no buy. I will have a more detailed video on my next check-in on that coming soon. In the meantime, I will link my other no buy video playlist in the cards if you want to go check it out. This palette is absolutely beautiful. It looks kind of boring and basic but it is so stunning it is perfect for like everyday wear day to day and you can really spice up a lot of your looks with this quad down here and it is kind of interesting how they have like the insert here with the names it gives you an option to prime enhance and smoke for each quad and you have day day wear desk wear date wear and dream wear so there's like four beautiful quads in here my top five favorite shades are definitely this really light almost like burnt orange matte shade as well as this real light iridescent type of gold shimmer metallic shade the shade under dream this middle like berry burgundy red shade it is a metallic this real muted like dusty pink mauve and the copper metallic like next to the gold and metallic under the day section but really all of these shades are quite beautiful but if I had to pick five as my top favorite those would be it this is my most expensive palette it is rather easy to get dirty because of the packaging is so shiny so it does tend to get dirty rather quickly but it is very luxe and very beautiful and I am glad that I own it the next category is your least expensive palette and mine is definitely the bite size elf little quad palettes. I know these are a lot of people's I've been seeing least expensive or their smallest for this tag. It is definitely my least expensive coming in at a whopping three dollars but these little bite-sized palettes are really nice you guys. I can't really pick my top five favorite shades in here because there's only four so I will just go ahead and pick my two favorite shades. I do have every single one of these. I have the truffle one, the pumpkin
pumpkin pie one, the blue one, the jalapeno one, and I have all of these. My husband ended up getting me the rest of them for our anniversary, of course. My two favorite shades in here are definitely the two shimmer metallic shades. And for $3, you guys, these are actually really incredible. This is a dupe for the Natasha Denona mini nude palette, and those shimmer shades are quite nice. As you can see from a couple of the swatches that I insert, just really how emollient and creamy and shiny and metallic that they are. The little e.l.f. bite-sized palettes are my least expensive for sure. The next category is your most used palette and I had to go with my Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions because it is my 2020 Pan That palette. I will insert the playlist to my Pan That palette in the cards if you guys want to go check it out but this is definitely my most used palette because I use it every single day that I do do my eyeshadow. Even if it is just for the quick middle neutral shade to throw in my crease or one of these shimmers on my lid and a couple of these and I'm out the door. But as you can see, I do have three pretty healthy size pans in there even in the darkest brown shade which i really really love this palette you guys and i'm really glad that i chose this as my pan that palette i just feel that mauve tones suit my skin type so well i have been loving to try to pan this this is my first time doing a pan that palette and i've really been enjoying this my top five favorite shades in the palette are definitely the neutral middle brown shade, the light cream shade, and the darkest deep brown shade, hence why they have pans in them. <laughs> <laughs> as well as this real light sparkly red metallic shade the lighter peachier pink uh, metallic shade though this one is kind of difficult to pick up with on a brush it is still quite beautiful once you manage to pick it up and apply it on your eyes I really do enjoy it those are my top five favorite shades and this is my most used palette the next palette is your current favorite palette and I had to again go with the Huda Beauty palette because I just love her her brand and I love her formula. I went with my Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette for good reason. This palette is absolutely beautiful. If I hadn't already picked the Mauve Obsessions palette as my 2020 Pan That palette, I would have definitely picked this one instead just because it has such an array and variety of different types of colors and textures and dimensions of shadows in here that you can really just create any any type of look with. You can really do a day-to-day -day type of look with this palette with the shade Karma and Gold Glitch. This on your crease and Gold Glitch on your lid and you're out the door. Or Nebula and Mercury with Libra. And you can really do a colorful type of look with the shade Haze, Nebula, and Mercury. You can go purple and put Libra and Ultraviolet. You can go peachy and pinky. I mean, the possibilities are endless. You have darker colors to add depth to your look. I really love this palette and it's so hard to pick my top five favorite shades in here. But if I had to pick five, I would definitely go with these shades. Of course, these two down here, which is the shade Nebula and Mercury, as well as the shade Galaxy, Supernova, and Utopia, which is just a beautiful peachy orange matte shade. But her matte shade is quite incredible. I really also like the shade Haze as well as Libra. All of these shades in here are my favorite. There's, It's really hard to pick just five. I love this palette for good reason. It has never let me down. It blends beautifully on the eyes. It doesn't crease. It doesn't fade. And her palettes are absolutely worth the price. They're a little pricey, like $65. But I think they are worth it. Her brand is probably one of my my top three and favorite eyeshadow formulas this is definitely my current favorite for my most colorful palette now i really struggle with that i have a lot of colorful eyeshadow palettes in my collection i kind of gonna give you guys my top three most colorful starting with my pinky rose bright lights palette this is very, very bright and vibrant and colorful. As you can see here, there is quite a variation of beautiful bright colors in this palette. 
Let me go ahead and turn it right side up. These matte bright shades in here are incredible. Not only are they very bright and pigmented, they last all day, they don't fade, and really just a little bit of this shadow goes such a long way. These pressed glitter shades, the shade Cupcake, Dazzle, and Tickle are really, really beautiful. And I can appreciate that even though they are pressed glitters, they are easy to pick up with on a brush. They are kind of molded together with some type of consistency like a dimethicone type of texture so they are easy to pick up this is the only shimmer shade in here is the shade glitz the rest are beautiful colorful rich matte shades which is really hard to find and especially bright in consistency like this so I want to say this is probably my most colorful palette but I also wanted to give an honorable mention to the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette because this is very colorful too a lot of us are very familiar with this palette it just has a lot of beautiful matte shades shades as well and rich nice creamy shimmer shades it is more of a pastel but yet colorful palette as well if I had to pick five shades in here as my favorite I would definitely say the shades F-U-C-K <laughs> Snack is really beautiful. Cotton candy, gumdrop, and lemon drop, which is just a really bright metallic yellow shade. And my top five favorite shades in the Pinky Rose Bright Lights palette is the shade Cupcake. For sure, it is absolutely beautiful. If I could insert a swatch of that to show you guys, I will definitely do that. The shade Smash, this really bright, vivid, bright matte green shade. Lit, which is the, the brightest matte yellow. I think I have in my collection dream sickle and boom which actually boom is a metallic shade as well which I do apologize I thought they were mostly mattes except for the press glitter but glitz is a shimmer shade as well as boom and again I have a lot of colorful eyeshadow palettes it was really hard to decide so I wanted to at least mention one other one and then show you guys that the morphe 25 L is a very colorful palette too <laughs> so I can't necessarily just pick one as my most most colorful because these are all very colorful in their own different ways this is probably my most brightest like rainbow type of palette that I have I just briefly wanted to mention this my most favorite packaging on a palette is my Tarte High Tide Good Vibes palette. As you can see, it is just a really cool packaging. It's kind of bulky and thick, but I love the little turtle on the front with the water that kind of moves around in here. I wanted to definitely say that this one is my favorite packaging. I just love the water in there. It's so cute, so creative and the little coral reefs and the water. I really just love this packaging. And I really love the shades in here as well. As you can see, it's got this middle row of these extremely beautiful glitter shades here and some really quite metallic shimmer shades as well as a couple beautiful rich matte shades too and it is just a really great palette i need to reach for this more i haven't maybe only used this but one or two times so i really think i'm gonna leave this out on my vanity to make sure to get a point to use this especially now that it is summertime these are just gorgeous shades for the summer my favorite shades in this palette is definitely the shade turtlelet down here this extremely chrome type of pressed glitter the shade Beach Days up here, this really beautiful, like deep rose gold pink type of glitter. The shade Buried Gold, South Beach, and Deep Blue down here, which is a really deep, beautiful, just ocean type of blue. So this is my palette that has my most favorite packaging. The palette that I haven't used yet is my Pat McGrath Platinum Bronze Palette. I also received this as a birthday gift and I haven't used it yet. It's been over two months now since my birthday has came and went and I have yet to use this. It is really, really gorgeous. It's just a really deeper tone type of shades in here. I can't really give my top five favorite because there is only six shades in here and I can't really justify which ones are my favorite because I haven't used it yet, but it is super gorgeous. I do plan to use this eventually. I feel this will be beautiful more in the fall and winter time with these darker, deeper, rich shades on the eyes. I will usually wear pretty much any type of eye look any time of year. You guys know that. And it is just a really great palette and I am excited to use it at some point. <laughs> So yes, this is my palette that I haven't used yet. The palette that I use every day, now I could have easily went with my Huda Beauty Mom Obsessions palette because I do use that every day. Because 
says your most used and you, you're used every day tag are very similar. So I had a difficult time trying to figure out which other palette I use every day or my most used palette. Then once I sat down and really just kind of looked over here, which is where most of my palettes are that I do use every day, I went with my Jaclyn Hill, just original Jaclyn Hill palette because I do use this the most out of all of my palettes, even though my Mava Sessions is the most used, I do typically reach for this on a daily basis. As you can see, I have a couple few pans in the shades up here. As you can see, it's just a very, very great staple type of palette. This is a, actually a really great palette in the industry. I do know that they have recently changed the formula on this, so you will no longer be able to get this formula, which is a shame because this formula is incredible. I've had this palette for over two years now and it still performs like the day I bought it. My top five favorite shades in here, if I had to choose, which is going to be really hard, is the shade Obsessed right here. Pool Party in light which is the most beautiful inner corner highlight or brow bone highlight that i've ever used pooter which is just your beautiful transition color on me i really love the shade enchanted down here which is a beautiful deep forest green metallic shade as well as the shade sissy right here which is a beautiful just pinky gold type of shimmer shade this is my most used or used every day those two tags are very similar but I managed to find two different palettes and that is the Jaclyn Hill Original Volume 1 palette. For my oldest palette in my collection, it is definitely the ABH Modern Renaissance, which I have miraculously been able to keep this bad boy pretty clean. As you can see, the packaging, which they usually tend to get filthy dirty, but I do store this in my plastic thing back here so it stays pretty safe and secure. I bought this in 2016 now, so this is like going on four years old and it is such a shame because I have created some very, very beautiful looks with this. I know a lot of people are panning this this year. I could very easily make this my pan that palette for next year and I may do that just because of the fact that it is the oldest palette in my collection. My top five favorite shades in here are definitely Vermeer and Primavera as well as Born Fresco, Love Letter, Tempura, and Real Guard down here. Just beautiful, everyday, great staple palette to have. And then the last tag is your smallest palette and I went with my Kaja little bouncing trio in either the shade Chocolate Dahlia or Rose Water. I have two of them and they are definitely my smallest palettes. I don't know if you would even call these palettes. They're just kind of like eyeshadow stack trios. These are absolutely beautiful lining. This one is all shimmers. This one does come with a couple mattes in here as well. The middle shade is just a beautiful neutral matte crease shade. You can really darken up your look with this darker shade. And then you throw this one on the lid, which is blinding and beautiful and you're out the door. I love these because they're quick and simple and they are so tiny. A lot of people pick the elf bite sizes as their smallest, but this is actually smaller than that. So I had to pick the these. <laughs> Same with this one. This one is all shimmer shades. This is the shade Rose Water and it's just gorgeous. It has some very, very blinding, beautiful metallic shades in there. Kaja makes great eyeshadows. Yes, these are definitely my smallest palettes. All of my palettes for the eyeshadow palette tag. Of course, when I seen this video going around, I had to jump on board. I have done this on my Instagram and I wanted to, of course, bring it over here and show you guys as well what my palettes were for each tag. And it is such a great idea. Samantha March and Allie Glein created this tag and I've been seeing a lot of people doing it. And of course I wanted to join. What I did for my eye look today. Morphe 25L palette, which is why I wanted to give it an honorable mention in this video. I just created a real beautiful sunset halo eye using the Morphe 25L palette. This is for Pride Month for the month of June. They created this last year and it is such a gorgeous, just rainbow pride type of palette. You can create some really beautiful rainbow looks with this. Use this shade's Sunlight Pride SF Truth 1978. Then I reached 
for the middle part of my lid in the 35i palette yeah it's just a really great beautiful rainbow palette that's everything you guys thank you so much for stopping by and please of course don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it really does help my channel out subscribe and comment down below and until my next video everybody enjoy the rest of their day bye